Welcome everyone, this is Say. Today I want to talk about the eight DNA body types. Nowadays, one of the big issues about raising our immune system, keeping it strong. I think this is one aspect of that. And so I'd like to uh, introduce it again. I've been doing consultations on this as a meditation specialist for about 10 years. Now it's becoming popular, it's well established in Korea, spreading out overseas. You want to know which foods are right for you or which meat, fish, vegetables, fruits are right for you, then it's a good um, good system to know. The concept is that at birth, your DNA, some people have stronger, a little bit stronger organs and a little bit weaker organs. So knowing which ones are a little bit weaker, a little bit stronger, then you can save your energy. Because if the foods aren't right for you, that energy isn't right for you, then the body wastes its energy and it takes a lot of um, energy for the body to, to digest something. So knowing what that is is the concept of the DNA body types. Most of our concept is based on calories and nutrients. We read labels. We assume we get all the vit vitamins and minerals from those foods. But in fact, if the food is not right for us, no matter how great those minerals and vitamins are. They cannot be stored properly in the body and they come off as unused energy. It takes a lot of time for the body to digest them or get, get rid of them. But when you eat the foods that are right for you, the body feels lighter because the body can more efficiently um, digest and absorb the nutrients. It's not a new concept. In India, they've had the three body types for a long time. Korea has been running oriental medicine centers around the world based on the four body types. But this doctor about 40 years ago was able to expand it more specifically to the eight B, um, DNA body types. So it's a process of getting to know yourself. Everyone's a little bit different. So depending on which organs are big, then your personality is a little bit different from others. So you come to realize that. You realize your skill sets are a little bit different. So it's not just knowing your foods, but coming to know a little bit more about yourself and about your personality and sort of things you you look forward to or desire and and they're sort of based on your dna and you go oh, that's why i'm different so as a few examples there's the liver type and the liver type has very strong muscles and they have these muscles and they have great decision making powers so the liver is one of the strongest organs for decision making so they're able to run business as well and be great entrepreneurs or uh, just really uh, great planners or teachers. Uh, if you have a strong stomach, the stomach or spleen power, then you have great organization ability, social power. Uh, that is one of your strengths, one of your key skill sets. However, for stomach people, their lower body is quite weak, so they need to exercise a lot. If you're a lung person, your lungs are really strong or large intestine, then you have this sort of leadership or, or idea power, but you have to keep to being very responsible and greed and desire. And too much alcohol and meat can be a problem for them. If you're a kidney and bladder person, then you have great physical balance, great brain power, and often a, a beautiful body type. So they can just push forward with their mental and physical power, but they may be inflexible in, in their thinking, and so they need to be more flexible like water. So that's an example of the personality behind the, um, the body type and some basic concepts of it. In the other video you can see, I give some examples of the foods necessary for the body type as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed that today. Thank you.